Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, today I want to make a video just showing you guys how to map your um, your main map map any folder from your main computer, or uh, I guess any computer you desire. Uh, how to map that drive onto your virtual machine? So here I have my Windows 7 virtual machine running here and my host machine over here in the back this is Windows 8 so uh, what I want to do is um, let's say for instance I want to map a drive on my VM to my uh, any computer outside I'm gonna walk you through that process and how how you would uh, want to do that and what, what steps you'd have to take so first of all on your uh, on the machine that actually has that folder that you want to map you want to go to that machine and then uh, browse to the folder that uh, you want to share uh, so first first for a folder to be accessible you you have to share it o over the network I guess right so what you want to do is uh, for instance here on one of my drives I have um, uh, I have my virtual machines folder here so I want to share this across my network so what you want to do is just right click the folder you want to share and then after that you can go to share with and uh, or oh sorry actually not not that uh, go right click the folder yeah and then go to properties and from there go to sharing over here and right now you can see it says virtual machines folder is not shared so you just wanna over here there's a share button just click that and uh, asks choose people to share with and over here what we're gonna do is we're just gonna say network let's see if that gets recognized yep so all I did was I typed network and then I hit enter or you can press add and over here you can see that uh, network showed up over here and you can choose whether you want the people on your network to be able to just read the folder or maybe they they could write to that folder as well meaning like they could change uh, they could change files inside or they could add files um, inside that folder so uh, for now we'll just keep it read just for this example and uh, after that just hit share and now it says your folder is shared uh, you can email someone links to these shared items or copy and paste the links into another program so here it, it actually gives you the network path to this shared folder so um, my computer here my computer's name is MFS dash desktop and uh, then it says slash and virtual machines which is the folder that we just shared so uh, you guys would have whatever folder you just shared it'll give you that path name you know your your computer name slash the folder and then um, hit done and we can hit close close this okay so uh, now you just want to go on your VM your virtual machine you open it up and uh, on your windows you can go to uh, just open up your computer or you can go to Windows Explorer then go to computer here and from there click map network drive up here there's that option right here uh, you can click that and uh, you can enter that path that you had from um, that we just saw over here it was saying MFS de desktop slash um, virtual machines we can enter that or what you can do is you can browse and uh, it's gonna check on the network but uh, you have to enable a few things for that but the easier way to do that is how uh, we had typed it in before you can just type in um, slash slash your computer name uh, if you guys don't know what your computer name is an easy way to check it is uh, just go to your on your actual computer um, you can press the Windows key and the pause break button or you can just uh, um, you can right click your computer 
icon here just right click that go to properties and over here it'll say there's a computer name field here so it shows your computer name mfs dash desktop so that's that and um, from that uh, so you know your computer name and then you know the name of the folder that you just shared so uh, we're gonna just type that in so I have mfs dash desktop and uh, virtual machines that's it yeah virtual machines and uh, we can hit after after that you can hear in this drive this drive option you can select any drive letter that you want uh, basically what that is is just um, uh, you see when uh, your your drives here on your main computer in your my computer uh, area it's uh, you have the C drive you have right now I have an A drive D drive so you can select any letter you want for that so I'm gonna select um, I guess I'll keep it as at Z or Z and you have two options here you can re recollect you can check reconnect at logon basically what that means is when you say you log off you shut your computer down try to turn it back on it's automatically gonna map this drive again uh, it's gonna try and map it again for you so that way you won't have to map it over and over and over again so uh, you can you can so I could check that off if I want to and uh, connect using different credentials so uh, that's if you want to log in as somebody else uh, next time but I'm just gonna leave that off I'll just log in as the same person so hit finish now it's gonna start it's gonna try and map to that drive and see if it's actually there after you just wanna enter the username of your of your destination computer like the the computer like my host computer right here uh, you want to enter the username and password for this computer if you are doing this over the network right now I'm just doing this on my I have my host machine and then I have my virtual machine if you're doing this over the network you'd want to actually type up the name of your computer of the destination computer first so it would be MFS uh, Sorry, I'll be uh, backslash backslash uh, MFS desktop backslash. So that's my computer name. Then you enter your username. So um, since I'm just doing this on my virtual machine, uh, I don't really need to do that. But or uh, since I'm doing this, sharing the file only from my host computer, I don't have to do that. But I'm gonna do it anyways because it'll help all of you guys. This that's the way to do it. So you enter your computer name first here and then you enter your username for that computer and then you enter your password so uh, then you hit OK you can hit remember my credentials if you don't want to log on all the time but I'm just gonna leave that unchecked just for security reasons and uh, hit OK it's gonna try and map to that drive specify username is invalid oh so actually uh, sorry from like I was explaining actually for my computer I uh, you won't really have to I don't really have to enter that username the computer name so I just enter my username and the password um, and then I just hit OK so you can see this time it worked but if if you guys if it doesn't work for you guys then try try entering your computer name slash then username and then enter your password afterwards uh, so yeah you can see here that uh, the folder is working if I go to my computer I have my new Z drive and I have all I have I have access to that folder that I shared so uh, just before we finish I wanted to show a second method an alternative method to map a drive uh, what I did was I, I removed I disconnected the drive that we mapped just now uh, and now I'm gonna show you guys the second method of mapping a network drive this is a l relatively easier but uh, I wanted to show you guys both processes just so you can learn and use whichever one you need so uh, the second method is you just wanna open up your uh, Windows Explorer and then on the address bar here type in the computer name your computer name that uh, you shared that folder in so for my example it's uh, slash slash and uh, 
you always want to have this slash slash even for your computer you're gonna have this there so uh, backslash backslash and mfs dash, dash, oh sorry dash desktop hit that hit I, or I mean hit enter and it's gonna ask you for the username and password for that drive uh, so since because we have our virtual machine and then we have our host machine um, all you have to do you just want to type in your username um, of your host machine and the password but uh, if your if your file is on a remote computer somewhere on your network then you want to enter backslash backslash your computer name and then your username uh, like I mentioned before so for me it's just username password then I hit OK and you can see that it's showing me all the folders that I've shared on my host computer itself. So I have my uh, League of Legends folder, I have my network backup folder, and I have this new virtual machines folder that we just shared uh, a few minutes ago. So this folder is here. Um, so all you want to do is you just want to uh, right click the fold that folder and uh, or I guess right click the folder that you want and then there's an option here that says map network drive you click on that and it's gonna it's just gonna ask you what what drive letter you want so uh, yeah well maybe I'll go with uh, Y this time whichever drive letter it doesn't really matter uh, whichever one you like select the options if you want to reconnect that logon I'm gonna hit yes and we're gonna hit finish and uh, now if you see if you go to your computer, my computer, you'll notice that the new drive is there. So uh, yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty much uh, the process. Um, when in that box that had that asked us for the username and password, there was an option that said, uh, you know, to save these credentials. If you want, if you're going to use the reconnect that logon option, you want to have that save these. You have you want to check that option that says save these credentials as well so automatically every time you log in it's going to use those credentials and map those not map the network drive again so um thank you guys for watching i hope this helped you guys out i tried to be as detailed as possible to help just in case you guys had any questions um if you do have any questions please leave a comment below and i'll try and get back to you as soon as possible um so yeah thank you for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. Thanks and take care guys.